the ultimate answer of who is gonna be the FNCS All-Star Showdown Solo Champion. It's happening here, it's happening right now. Put everything on pause, cause things are about to get wild. Let's go. Final moments, five people left. Vino has height, Tayson all the way in the middle. Those are the two eyes, the two names you have to be focusing on right now. Tayson is literally in a world oh of hurt, but at the same time finds two. That two could be the difference. It'll have to be Vino going for the win right now in order to catch up. He's going for Erkin as well. If he gets three, that could be it. He's moving forward, forcing the placement. Tayson on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through. Finds it. A big matchup. Oh, Tayson oh takes my. them all. same time could not use it to get to the very end. Tayson is just a different breed. He is honestly, I would say, one of the best players, if not the best player alive for Fortnite right now. He's gone. Now we look at, oh my god, a beautiful sight top down. Look at all the names ready to just attack this end game. Everyone inside zone waiting to see what they can do next. Janet will get doled out. It's the top 10 they're going to be looking at because so much placement points will be doled out. And of course, with every Elon War 2, it's going to be big bonus. At the same time, Analex newly signed to Falcon here. It's a name that we've been hoping for to make a resurgence back to glory here. Andalex, who had a bad run in the FNCS, went all the way from the back of the pack, moved all the way to seventh with his trios. One of those names, Andalex, is looking forward to have a great day today. Endgame starting up though. Gliders up in the sky. Andalex is a very forward front position. But once again, 50 different lines of sight. Now down to 40. Yellowcrats going down to zone. Andalex has to be careful. King Michael on his right side. This man is lethal with the bump. Andalex sneaking in. Almost has the shot, but the wall blocks him. Going right in. Diving. No nice. cause for respect. This man doesn't care. Andalex gets a huge upgrade. Oh, Another no. invasion from a different nation. He just turns on that man. And oh my god, a second one that just defuse right there. Andalex gets to survive. Oh. Ah. But that is taken out. Each box is being observed, is being analyzed by five different players. If you trip up for even a second, you're going to be taken out. Thomas HC looking to, for those trip bugs. Does he pick up high Chris? I believe that was Toos that was able to close that out. You know, he did pick up high Chris there. He was able to take that away. And he picks up swag as well. Some nice illuminations from Thomas HD. Now he's just going to need some mats here because he's only down to 15 metal. He has mats on the other side of the wall. He has attack. And the attack is real. A two piece from Thomas HD. Let's go. Clear resolutions in his mind, but up top it's Vino. Play in Mastermind, looking to see exactly what he can do up. Hot fish in tow as well. He lands down once again. What good control he has over the top of the server. Thomas HD now, he's actually losing a little bit of control on the backside, getting focused. Metal builds, but now he's down to none. We'll see exactly what he can do as he walks in. The server now thinning out. Vino getting another. Malabuka goes down. Shizo is getting reason inside the feed. Top seven situation. Ooh. Thomas HD is the lucky number who gets down at the very end. And Mr. J is the one that take him out. Vino running out of mats as well. He has four to his name. To decide what to do next. He might have to hide out down below though. And done. Fast Roki, they're battling it out. It's a five-man game. It's all of a sudden we hit in game and we blinked in an eye. It's almost over here. It's a top four situation. Fast Roki coming in from the play in track here with four eliminations. Still a name in the EU region looking for some respect here. Down to only three builds. It's the chunk cannon that's going to give him the ability to go a little bit survive. And yes, he finds some very valuable builds. Even seven is just enough. He's looking for more loot out there. He sees someone out front and done there on the backside of the storm getting pressured here. Fast Roki gets tagged just to Bit. But Shizo now is at height. What happened to Vino? What happened to Vino? Vino might have got taken out. Fast Roki's looking for the match to actually get. These guys are not even fighting for position. They're fighting for a player in enemy graves. They finally get a few more mats actually all out. Mr. J goes down in Storm. It's 1v1, and Fast Roki has nothing in the build department to defend himself. Shizo has a few more, goes for the shot, misses he it, but the AR is there to back up, and he takes away the first game of all stars off so, so hard. So we'll see exactly how he can roll in. It's one of the best loadouts we're looking at as well. He's got the launches and he's ready to go. Benji coming into this match, 94th place with zero points. So you're seeing that he was able to get his first points of the tournament here with five. 
finds a community path. This is huge for him to use. And wow, everyone takes to the sky. Arden, Janice, Irizumi, Benji up top, Floki and Wakey actually touch down first. He's going to be right above them as he starts his game. This landing has to be perfect, and he finds his box. Good for him so far, but he's turning on the gas, going in for the big shot on the right side. On the top right of your screen, you can see Benji's POV as how he moves. Thomas H, he's desperate, though. And finds he another one. Elim right below him. That's huge. Doesn't get the match, though. He has two left, and he's facing a ton of bullets. Gets focused out on the front side, though. Teak, Benji, lots of people looking for position and just waiting to take control of this game. The Frenchman Nate takes out Thomas HD. Now we're on to the English Lord here of Benji with one elimination here. Does he have height? Seven points. He has height. Yes, and he has peppers here. He's going to have to get a refresh here because he's not going to be able to hold height for so long. And a Nos is right underneath. And this is where it's going to get dangerous for Benji. And here it is. All eyes on Benji. And a power position to close out. Floki down below. Looking with the green tack. Hunting for an elimination with no build, Shio. This is where it gets treacherous. This is where you need to be able to clutch. Hits the short pad for a moment. And right now, Floki, he's homeless and hungry. No mats right now, but he's still trying to eat. Boom, boom, three. He's not going to be there. Bubak takes him out. Benji, though, he has every single angle possible right now from top down. Then at least 100,000 damage from up here, but no. He gets taken out. He was shot on the Bubak, though, to keep it all the way in. Gets a few mats to stay alive and stay in. It's Taysen who steals this position. If anyone could clutch from this position, it is Benji Fishy. We've seen it in many times in different stages, but never have we seen it in a set lobby in the finals. And he's going for another one. Ken Benji on the bottom right of your screen. Get this elimination. He's chasing. He takes up all damage. That's how much he wants it. Taysen picks up Miro on the feet. Stormy takes up Slender. Vino picks up another elimination. What a big game for Vino. And Knifer takes out Benji. We run into a river, but this is no picnic. Stormy right all the way down below is about to get shot out. Taysen is looking at such a strong position. Teak lost in the storm. AR beams from above. This rain hurts hard, and there's no umbrella to save you now, my friend. You're running out of materials. You're going to be on your walls and your floors, editing it out towards the storm. Chug Cannon, the advantage is even. And now Taysen from the top side, he's looking for the final shot. A tree in the way, but there's going to be no growth for Teak here. Low on HP, low on shields. Taysen Taysen's here to wrap it out, going back in the storm. It's a desperate solution. Taysen fails the block, but lands the shot. That's what I'm talking about for game two. High profile players, big stakes. Desperately hitting, and Shizo finally gets found out by Noah Riley. And Noah Riley not only rewarding with those two Elan points, but also rewarding with that chug cannon. So that's going to be a great win condition for him going forward. Vino with one Elan. He's known to do well. He picks up some big ones on Wazy. Wazy now has to bottle up and get away from that. Pressure, Chapix, who we saw earlier, poke at Benji Fishy. Now we're on board with Andalix, the Frenchman with only oh. nine points. Deceptos gets swagged. Thomas HD, is that the snipe that we were looking for on Chapix? I believe so. And Andalix is going to use the spoils and pick up the loot. I believe it was. We're going to take a look. Hope That's... we got a replay of that. Absolutely crazy because Chapix, this man, is that half and half high ground king. Thomas HD taking him out, it looks like, from a mile away. And the Lex now controls that high ground. This man that's been suppressed the entire, I would say, back to back FNCS yes. is so close towards that top three. No teammates to worry about right now, though. No off spawn contestions. It's about him controlling the end game. There's a reason his name's popping up on every single region right now. It's because of how good he is at maintaining control. The thing is, though, of a deal. He's looking for the retake. He's going on the left side. That zone, it's all the way towards the back. He chooses, as, chooses actually to drop down and not go up. This does thwart Andalex's plans, though. He's worried and he's focusing on Vadil. Meanwhile, Thomas HD, this man's in mid-ground Sancho, and he's looking pretty good. Coming into the fight in seventh place, you saw Vino as well in the POV, our first place leader, still looking solid in this fight. Safet picking up Blackie. Wakey taking out Vino. Our first place is gone as Thomas HD is on the same layer as Wakey here. He might be able to pick up this elimination, but he gets tagged for leaving that edit open here. Thomas HC is in shambles in a bit when it comes to the health-wise, and he has to work on through because that storm is on the backside. Paco picking up Wakey in the feed here as Thomas HC has no point, but he has to go down into the depths of the low ground where we all know there's so many other people desperate, and that desperation comes through getting taken out. And Les went close down and personal with Vadilda. Maybe have a conversation with him, keeping down below. 
saying, hey man, stop these retakes. At the same time though, looks like on the right side, there's more players who are looking to gain and take height. Height has been the thing that's been winning these solo games towards the very end. We're now going towards the eighth zone. Deceptos, Gray Angel, Light all the way down below. Tayson's still alive as well on the same layer as Vadil, but it's Andalex who gets to play this 90 degree angle and sit like a king all the way up on height. Tayson though, meanwhile, on the peasant layers down below, it's chaos all around. You open a wall and four different shotguns get shot in front of you. He's looking to see what he can do next. So much loot down there. So many mats. He's painting it and boom! Kinzo, he takes a huge shot, but none of these bulls are his own. Seven mats now for Tayson as he's looking to survive. Light, he gets shut out. And now with six people left, this is where that real big placement comes in. Regardless of the finish of Tayson, this is a great game for him to follow up that victory out. These are the string of games that you need to be able to solidify yourself in a top three situation in terms of on the leaderboard. Kenzel, a big name in the region, a DreamHack champion now moving his way through, trying to pick up as many loot as possible here. Has that chunk cannon, and he has two to work with. This is a top five situation. Game three of the All-Star Showdown solos and Cami and Alex finally picks up an elimination and he cashes in on this high ground power place. We'll be tasting right now. He's gonna be organized. And Alex will be looking for control. Kinzel, he's looking to survive. We'll see exactly who can move in. And I believe Boobox, the last player here too, who's just absolutely chaotic, breaks the wall in front of him and takes a shot. It's a steep price to pay to stay alive. And now Tayson, barely any builds. He's using the last few for the final fight. Takes one more, so damaged, boom, gets in, has nice. a drop on Boobox, and a full HP player gets taken out. A lot of mats for him to work with now. But still, Kinzel, he's on the sidelines. Six HP, blocked off in the zone. Huge from Tayson. Can he get two in a row here? It'll be against all odds right now as Andalex has the world and more on high ground. The pressure's there too. This will have to be the retake of the century. Chuck Splash Cannon in the storm. Dips back in, but no, Andalex puts a cap and on it. High ground quickly as Vino. Wow, the Chuck Cannon is there. Three elimination. Vino coming into second place into this matchup. And by far, one of the most consistent players besides Tayson here today. He's playing things so, so well, too. You heard Levin talk about him, right? Like, the OGs, they they, they might oh, be yeah, rolling and knowing exactly what's other. The new players might not exactly understand what is going through with them, but we'll see Tayson on basically a complete different path than Fino when he's rolling in. Fleck and Alexa actually end up taking height. This is first place right now that you're looking at. He's gotten three points so far this game. These peppers last one minute each, so if he makes it to the seventh zone, he could have permanent speed rolling in all the way towards the very end. We'll see if it's possible. Taking shots at multiple people all beside him. 193 AR, he has a lot of time to stay online on these bullets as well, but each of these walls he edits, he gets closer to sight, to sight, to sight lines like Shaco's right there. Bat sniper down below, he sees the launch pad to actually reuse, and boom, he's all the way up in the sky with five other people, Siberia and Ira Zumi's deja vu from last game. The same players, he goes to re it actually. Genius from Tayson, head now in the sky, and he has a later rotation. Costs him a little bit of shield, but he's looking good. Vino's also in the sky, Thomas HD too. Dude, Vino and Tayson did the same thing, and Vino went back again to hit that pad. That's how valuable that movement is. He knows he could do that with the Chug Cannon. He perches on top of someone. Now he's sitting above the chaos that's down below as Thomas AC is causing that chaos, gets a big elimination there with the green pump shotgun. This is what's happening here. Who's gonna have that strong position on the front side? Tayson, still pepper fire. Eats the last one here on the low ground. Make wow. this rotation here. No one in sight, and Savage is still in the feed a play, but look at this free rotation as Bellix takes out Savage. He's a spinning top rolling in on low ground. Every single person that gets right beside him gets slashed. A huge jumping shot from the attack to stop Siberia in his tracks. Now his eyes set on Kinzel. 51 damage once again. He's looking for the actual roll in knockoff shot. He's looking for that refresh on materials. Not gonna find it. Fucking Slender. They go down to Virox. Vino takes out Seti, so he's still active and alive. And as a refresh at this portion of the game, look at height though. Who won the fight though? It was queasy who now has control above the trees. He will not be disturbed for the next two zones. It'll be up to Vino and everyone on mid-ground to get a lot of those elims to switch up how things are going, or Queasy could roll away with the competition. Let's see how it goes down here. It is 12 people alive. This is game four. It's coming down to it here. Tayson on the bottom of your screen, Vino on the top. It is first and second, and that is what's separating the two. 
It's a, just a matter of points here. Tayson with a great, unbelievable three games finish right now. About to get closer to the top 10. If Tayson gets to the top 10, now Vino is going up for height. Queezy's on the green. He's in trouble now. And Vino sitting pretty at high here. He's going to need a refresher because he only has soft mats and 25 builds. Trulix is able to catch Queezy on the low ground. And now he's up to back to old builds. And this is going to be huge for Vino. Not only that, the placement points will keep racking in as you see a new name join that Elim feed. Vino up top, second place. Tayson down below in first, opposite corners of the earth. Trulex, he's looking for shots, has an entire angle on a full layer, but there's surprises around every corner. No one's going down. Top 10 as the zone gets smaller. We're in the final line here. A minute, 20 seconds left for every competitor. Alive right now, Trulex sees someone walk above him, but he can't do anything. Sneezy behind this right wall could have that edit too. I don't think this is the person's wall. Tayson, he's gonna clear a lot of things in front of him. Thomas HD fans bites are fine. Finds bad sniper. It's up to Tayson now to stay alive. No one's actually watching where he is inside his portion of the feed. Vino now is on Thomas HD and dropping down a lot of pressure. Vino has plenty of AR to send down. Stacey picks up Trulix here. We are looking at first and second. Once again, Tayson only down to three builds. Thomas HD, the ninth place coming in. It's taken out by Vino. Vino, oh my goodness. You are performing out of your mind right now. And Tayson gets picked up by him. Actually gets picked up by Snazy. So Hen picks up Snazy. So Hen is right there. Hen having a performance that he needed. He had literally single digits. Now in the double digits with nine Elims. Hen, the English Lord, is no. showing up. And he takes out. Naps takes him out. And Vino comes in, takes out Hen, and then Naps ends up on top. What a crazy ending Another game. Right placement there. game. Right now for this end game and game number five, it's all about Vino versus Tayson. Where will both these players end up being? Will they start off on height? Who will go down first? That will dictate who comes into the lead in game six. They were both tied in by coming to this match here, both at 90. Right now, Vino with 94 points right here. And we're gonna have to definitely take a look at Tayson here. Vino with one elimination in this game, but does not have a lot of firepower in his inventory. And that's gonna be a danger here. Rutsguard in the cone next door. He's gonna send some beams the other way, and here comes Janice. Janice, the two-time FNCS champion, slows down Vino's aggressiveness. And now you're seeing the tale of two stories. You have two kind of groups of players, solos on two shores here. And looks like one of them is only going to benefit from the first moving. And that is the minority. And Chapik is definitely sitting in one of that front. So you'll expect some beams to go the way through as the, like, the majority of the server have to figure out how to make this rotation. Tayson might be down now as well in the game, so it could be all up to Vino to roll all the way through and actually take the lead off of game number five. Janice will try to make his duels legacy actually survive here in the fifth game. He's gatekeeping a lot of players, not landing absolutely all the shots, and is going to go right into his sights, but actually avoid all the shots. Refscard's the one who's eating up a majority of the pressure out of all shields. Mawaka down below gets flicked on. Janice is not Vino. stopping and milking this position as fast as possible. Why? The spicy fish, Sancho. He's ready to keep going. He's still pushing on, and he takes out Vino. Oh my goodness, Janice. I thought he was sitting there a little too long on that perch here, but just sitting there just a brief moment was able to catch Vino. So our top one or two are out. That's gonna open the door for Thomas HD and Kinzel. Kinzel picks up elimination there on Matzo. Matzo is out. Kinzel with this first elim of this match here, getting closer and closer to some big placement. Now we have to figure out where the next zone is gonna be revealed. It is Reason on Hype. Irez is going for that desperate take for high take, and then that's gonna be an opportunity for Reason to find that elim. 95 points is the lead right now, but both players who are there are kind of out of the running for game number five. Everyone who's alive right now is looking for that maximum amount of placement. The VR, but as well as the Elims, Chapix and Teak mid-air fight. No shots landed, and he boxes up a pad right in front of him too. Oh no, this has to be a very, very fast and precise edit for Teak here to move in, and boom, it's perfect. He moves all the way to the front side of the zone. As he does that, though, Blackie takes over height, stops down Savage Reason, does not have enough of the damage to keep up at the same time. 70 players alive. Kinzel is up to 73 points, taking out Game 4's winner, Nebs. He's taking every single person that has a chance to steal away points and is out of the running. With 75, he needs 20 more to catch up to our first place spot. 
That is it. It's on the line right there. This is match five, and Kenzo is getting closer and closer to the top three. Has his sights on Michael. Michael just avoiding the pressure here. Now Kenzel with the edit here. Blackie's at height. Seti's on the front side. Janice on the bottom on the low ground on the front side of the storm. And right now, Michael's going down, and Kenzel had to make a big leap coming from height. But let's see if he's going to be able to pick up Knifer. No, he has to turn his attention and move forward because he cannot stay too much on the backside. Fifth height retake comes through, and now Reason holds the crown. At the same time, it's taken him a little bit of time to get it fitted to his head. Finally, there on height, Seti right below a mid-ground demon. It'll be tough for him to exercise this man right there. Two layers below, Trippern is looking for the big shot. It's sneaky, and Janice gets clapped in front of him. He's looking for the back-to-back, -back. steals an AR, and now has the big firepower to play low ground in the zone. Moving around the left, Trippern really good at playing these spots when he's solo. He's looking for the clutch. It'll be up against three different players. Looks like Kenzel went down. Reason coming in from 60th place. This is another pop-off game that we're watching right in front of us. Tripper here sending in the pressure on the low ground, but as Reason with five eliminations there with only one build looking down below. Another Elim. Actually, Reason picks up Sapphic. So another Elim going over to Reason. Reason with the tags on Tripper. He's going to be able to close this out. It's a 1v1, and he does. Seven eliminations and the victory royale. What a great finish. And he really well. Kenzel, 15 points separating that first place. We've seen the major pop-off games from Hen. We've seen it from Reason, who's sitting in seventh place. It's all on the line. This is the final moments, and I feel like this music just amplifies that. It's like a acquisitive state that we're all in, and we're trying to solve <laughs> this answer, this problem that we have with the ultimate answer of who is going to be the FNCS All-Star Showdown Solo Champion. It's happening here. It's happening right now. Put everything on pause because things are about to get wild. Let's go. Game six. It's time. Sloppy is about to crash down on Vino right now. Tayson and Vino have more top 10 placements than any other player right now. This is difficult. Vino has a hopper fish, has a pad. If he could do this right now, he needs to survive. As the lobby's gonna crash down on him, he may be able to do it. As we're on board here, we're tasting second place. He's gonna have to make a movement, looking through all the opponents he's working his way through. A sniper shot just misses him and hits the brick here. This is our top three making their movement through. Let's see who survives this treacherous rotation. Kenzel's in, he's vibing. Now it is Vino up into the sky. Look at the top of your screen, folks. If Vino can make it to the front side, finds another pad, another moment to breathe as he's gliding through. Can he survive this glide? He sees a lot of names underneath him. He has height and a moment to breathe as Taysen picks up an elimination on the bottom right of your screen. This is a triathlon of a challenge for all these top three players. Taysen with that big gone. dash. But Kinzel doesn't make it past that high jump. Another player goes straight into his box. It's Shizo that takes him out. Our old second place warrior who's trying to come back into the sun. At the same time, we see Elims all across the feed. Tayson dodging them all right now. One point separating Tayson and, and Vino. One point separating our top two right now. The Elims are made up from Tayson. Top 30 situation. The damage is looking good overall as well. Cami, Mosh going down, but Tayson is not the same someone else oh, in the no. feed. The beam is oh, there. Zeus goodness. cannot stop the champion right now. Two Elims. I think he's pulled away from exactly yes. where Vino could be. And he's close over to a slightly right. higher layer as well. Where is Vino? All the way on low ground in his own box. He's biding his time. It doesn't matter just yet. It might be zero Elims, but he's used so many masks to get to this situation. On the backside of American. Left. He needs this Elim so badly. He has the hop flopper active as well. He can actually make up a lot of space with this no one mats. and save material. He's out now, completely out for the moment. The final box for Vino on the top right side of your screen. He's one point behind Taysom right now, who's all the way up in the land of clouds, editing all the way down below. He's getting closer and closer to Vino. Vino's classic 90 degree spray. It's not enough to actually confirm any eliminations. He just does a little bit of damage. Top 11, but he finds one, a huge Elim and lots of mats. 200 to work with. It'll buy him a little bit of time. Taysom, though, on the bottom right. He's looking for his chance. A big beam. Lots of shots. He's going for it, but no confirmation. Vino retakes the lead. Now in the lead by 
one point. It's 112 to 111. That's coming down to the final moments. We're on board and focusing on Vino as Reason gets taken out by Seti. So that's not going to be another big game from Taysen. But now he has eyes on Temp. Now he has eyes on Vesroki. Did Taysen pick up those eliminations? No. Vesroki just snatches that Elin from Nebs here. This is it, folks. Don't go anywhere. It's a top six situation. And we have two competitors who are going to be able to walk away right now with some big money. Final moments, five people left. Vino has height, Taysen all the way in the middle. Those are the two eyes, the two names you have to be focusing on right now. Taysen is literally in a world oh of hurt, but at the same time finds two. That two could piece. be the difference. It'll have to be Vino going for the win right now in order to catch up. He's going for Erkin as well. If he gets three, that could be it. He's moving forward, forcing the placement. Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through. Finds it. A big matchup. Oh, Taysen oh takes my. them all. The undisputed best solo player possibly in the entire world. Guild Taysen takes out everyone, literally everyone in this competition and is your all-star champion. What a dominating way to close it out. The golden boy of the EU region looking strong and mighty and got himself the FNCS All-Star Showdown Solo Championship. Wow! One by one, Titan falls. One by one, every single legend in the scene who's looking to stop this man cannot complete the task. He is absolutely unstoppable. He is both that immovable wall and that crazy fast object you cannot slow down. Taysen is just a different beast entirely. Vino survived all the way to the very end. He had height, he had the best rotation, but Taysen himself just had the power, he had the confidence, he had the speed to dive into every box. Right here, he should have been taken out, but Toos couldn't do it, Taysen survived. Vino had the best clutch elimination as well but at the same time could not use it to get to the very end. Taysen is just a different breed. He is honestly, I would say, one of the best players, if not the best player alive for Fortnite right now.